Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974 back at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to cover some trading. We're not going to get into auto trading today because there are some questions on the forums and in the community itself if auto trading is actually has a bug or not. But don't fret, I have an answer that could help you out to guarantee that you're going to make some profits. And we're going to do a little bit of what I'm going to dub semi-auto trading. All right, so welcome to my little office over here. We're going to talk about the semi-auto trading. So what this... Okay, that's good. All right, so what this uh, entails is that you're going to choose what your trader is going to go and buy, but he's going to just go do it for you, and then you're going to do something else, like whatever you want to do. You want to go click crystals or make med kits or Order whatever completed. you want to do to do. So how does this work? Well, you're going to spend most of your time doing this in the map map mode and in the map mode we actually need to have uh, uh, first you do have to be a little bit uh, you know you have to have a little bit of money you have to have explored a lot because I mean what you can't trade without you know knowing where stations are the next thing is you need to have your satellite network semi set up you need to be able to know what's selling where and then that means just putting satellites anywhere near any factories that you find when you are going out and a, co a cool way to do that and I'll do another topic on this later is to have uh, your pilots do it for you but that's a whole other thing but you do need satellites up to actually have this work so there's a little function in the map that is called uh, trade filters okay so if you hit the trade filters you guys probably see these uh, these actually pop up. You see these bought wares and these sold wares. Sold wares are anything um, within these 182 stations, it says right up here, that you can buy, and this is the cheapest price you can buy them for. Uh, bought wares is anything that is selling uh, things for higher prices, and this is what you would get for it if you actually sold. That means they have purchase orders out there for, they, they need this stuff, so you need to actually uh, you know, you can you can use your traders to sell it. So you do need a trader, which means you do need a transport. And I'm using an Argon transport. I actually have him set right up here. Where is he? Uh, let me see if I can find him. Uh, my Malkuth Industries trade ship. We're gonna look at the information. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So yeah, that's it. Uh, what the heck is this? I don't even know. It's a Order Mercury. Completed. It's a Mercury Vanguard. So uh, that's 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 cool. So how this all works is how this whole system here works is that um, it basically gathers, if you're like fully out in the map, it gathers everything that has, that's around the map that's at the highest price and the lowest price. And you can control that by messing with your max price up here. You can kind of um, um, bring it lower. You see how everything changed. So if you only want to buy things that are, are sell things at max price of, or you know the same thing max price of 2003 um, that's how you would do that I believe that works for um, buying and selling too uh, the other thing is I believe the large stands for uh, the type of cargo it is or or you know I don't quite know what that but you also can set this up to uh, how many uh, offers you have in here you can have it up to only one or you can have it up to five you can only have a f max five so that's how you control this filter system here um, with the max prices and that. You also have these up here that says container, solid, liquid. Obviously my Mercury is a container vessel, so that's what I have uh, selected. If I was doing only liquids, I would change it to lick, I mean solids. I would take the containers off and then I would only have the ores and stuff like that. And if I only want to deal, deal with liquids, then I would do this and uh, we would see that. But we are dealing only with containers right now and that's how this is going to work. Uh, the next thing we need to uh, do is we need to actually Order find completed. what we need to trade. So what I'm going to do is, let me see, microchips usually works good. So this is another trick you guys can do. If you take your mouse cursor, you click on the, um, the, the commodity that you want to sell, you click it once, it will filter out everything else and only give you uh, the microchips Order in this case to sell. So here we go, I'm gonna, you can look around, uh, do that. You can also uh, bring it down to like, if you bring it down to like this smaller, it will show you that there's no microchips in here being sold or bought. There's no, there's microchips being bought in this area. 
and we will have to there's more microchips over here uh, that these are being sold and yeah so where is where is that okay yeah so basically the also the other thing you can do is you can uh, kind of click on not click on but uh, mouse scroll over it and it will show you where you will where you'll sell the microchips and this one will show you where you'll sell it so it's actually an 18 billion and I'm gonna sell it in so here we go so now that you kinda know how that works kinda I didn't really want to make this a thing about how that stuff works but now this is where you did the manual stuff so now it's up to your uh, pilot to do everything so what you need to do is you need to go into your property owned you need to select your trade ship okay and what you need to do is we need to buy the wares first so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover my mouse let me do this kind of uh, if we can see it here, hover my mouse over the sold where this means I'm going to go buy them. I'm going to right click and you're going to come up with this interesting little thing. You're going to see microchips and uh, how much they're going to, they, uh, I got to buy them for and how many they actually have to sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click in here and I'm going to slide it all the way to the left until I max out my uh, my container from my ship which means I'll have 372 It's going to cost me 500,000 things so I'm going to confirm this so now my trader has uh, buy orders for this so if I go over to here I go to information and I go to behavior you can see that Order he completed. actually has um, uh, buy orders he's gonna go execute a trade and he, he was docked and now he's undocked and he's gonna go he's gonna go buy that so how do we sell it? Well, I can do the sell order right now by doing the same exact thing. So to buy it, we went down here. To sell it, we do the same exact thing. We go up here, we right click it, and now we can see that they're gonna buy it for 1668 at this place. So now we gotta slide it all the way to the right. And we can see here that I'm gonna sell it for 620,000. And my profits from this sale, because it does know what I bought it for, is gonna be 113,000. I'm gonna confirm that. Bam! So we have one sale already done, said, uh, ready to go. So that's awesome. That's not the end. You can um, give them multiple oh, buy in orders, and they'll buy and they'll buy and sell in uh, they'll buy and sell um, in order. So let's see if we can find something else. I'll I'll use graphene as or graphene as an example. Um, I can buy it. This is this is not a huge uh, thing, but you'd have to like look around a little bit more. Um, I can buy it for 150 credits, so I'm going to right click on it, and I want to see that. So I'm going to left slide this all the way over, and you're going to see it's going to cost me 61,000. I'm going to confirm that, and then I'm going to also sell it, and I'm going to sell it over there in the void, and now I'm going to slide this all the way to the right, and you're going to see I'm only going to make 13,530, but for um, simplicity's sakes, I just want to show you guys how this works. So that's confirmed. Now, if you go over to um, my guy here, you can see he has all, he's got four now. He's got a buy, a sell, and a buy, and a sell. So now he's going to do all that. So I can literally, this might take him 20 minutes to do all this stuff, and I can go do other stuff. But we can actually add more. So let's see if we can get this more. Now I'm going to click on this again to get my, uh, get that out of there. Uh, let's see, what about energy cells? Can we sell energy cells anywhere? No, it's no I don't quite have that unlocked yet. Uh, Toledium? How about that? Can we sell that anywhere? Nope. So I'm just kind of surfing around looking for things to sell. Uh, spices? Still no. Uh, what about hull parts? I've been trying to do hull parts, but I've never found anything. I found engines, but not hull parts. Uh, we can kind of go down here a little bit more. We got medical supplies. Maybe we can find something for medical supplies. Ah, yes, we got... No, actually, look. I can buy them for 115 and sell them for 114. I'd actually lose money, and I believe that's one of the reasons why uh, the AI might be losing people money because it, that that doesn't make much sense. Oh, does it? So I'm gonna go out of that uh, antimatter cells. It's actually this just shows you how hard it is to find sales in this uh, in this universe because um, the the economy is actually pretty well done. Uh, Smart chips aren't that good. I don't know. I can't really. Super fluid cool. Awaiting orders. I haven't actually found this either. All right. So um, actually, I think what microchips actually make me quite a quite a bit of money. Um, so I'm pretty sure 
I could do this again and oops where'd they go microchips all right I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna do another buy order for microchips which cost me 507 and I'll do another sell order for those uh, just like that would be it'll make me another hundred thirteen thousand dollars microchips are probably my best seller right now not quite sure why so that goes like that so there you go so my guy now has three trades actually queued up and you can see it right here he's docking with the first one but he's got all these other trades to do after that that's why this is semi-auto so I set him up to do trades and I know he's gonna make money because this he won't buy anything if he's not gonna if he can't buy it for what I just told him to buy it for he won't buy it I don't believe I could be wrong but I haven't seen it yet and uh, yeah so that's it that's how that's how you do the semi-auto trading and hopefully save you guys some headaches and uh, heartbreaks with um, using the auto trader and losing tons of money until they figure out or we figure out how that actually works so until then guys this is Malkuth 1974 we'll see you later Malkuth out of here